debate, which she says After was meant to be a discussion to benefit Andrew Powell and Emilio Vicente, a defining moment. For the Office of Student Body President and the leader of our university for this next year, Andrew Powell has won with 4,760 votes and 62.9 percent. A large victory margin, Powell says he was surprised. In the general election, Vicente garnered 41 percent of the vote, while Powell received only 28 percent. But with the endorsements of both former student body president candidates Winston Howells and Nikita Shamdasani, and, perhaps more importantly, the announcement by Vicente's former platform writer Ishmael Bishop that he too supported Powell, the tide turned. Just moments after the announcement, Powell joined our anchors on desk to describe the feeling. Uh, still in shock, my hands are kind of shaking. And the morning after, a similar reaction. It felt more real, I think, this morning than necessarily they did last night just because there was such a whirlwind of emotion and excitement. Powell says he's ready to hit the ground running. Actually, he already has. I'll, I'll hit send today. He's drafted an email to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation asking for outside resources to implement his platform goals. That initiative in particular is something I'm so passionate about that um, I was going to do everything I could to try and make it happen, however things went. Big steps, the big promise. But Powell says he wouldn't have it any other way. It's incredible to see that after so much analysis and thought, um, the student body decided to to kind of give their stamp of approval and, and push me forward into this position. Um, and that's humbling. That dream means knocking on a few doors, and Powell is starting at the top. Reporting in Chapel Hill, I'm Emily Palmer.